having your own podcast is becoming the new cool thing to do, which is great. It really is. It's really easy to get started. And now is a perfect time to get into podcasting. But what kind of podcast should you start? In this video, I'm going to share with you the popular types of podcasts and which one I think is best for beginners. Stay tuned. What's going on, folks? This is Jam Calpin of Calpin Creations with another video to help you start making quality audio content on a budget. Whatever you're making, cost does not have to stop you from creating your next project. In this video, I'm going to share some of the most popular types of podcasts that folks are doing right now and which I think is best for beginners. First off, we have the solo podcast, and it sounds just like what it sounds like. It's a podcast when you're just one person, you're doing it by yourself. And there are a couple of different solo podcasts that I would recommend that are really great podcasts. And again, this is a popular podcast to do because it's probably the easiest one to do because all you need is a recording setup and yourself and you just talk. <laughs> you just talk or if you want to just read, read off of a piece of paper, anything. But the point is, it's just you all by yourself. Some podcasts that I would recommend are one, Black Girl Creative, by Alicia Renice. Another one is The Dr. Boyce Breakdown by Dr. Boyce Watkins. And of course, shameless plug, Dude Make Something podcast by your host, Jam Cal Penn. Be sure to check out those podcasts. And again, yeah, the solo podcast, super easy podcast to get into, super easy podcast to get started in podcasting. The next type of podcast that you have is podcasts that have two or more people. So for this kind of podcast, you even have a partnership or a team working together, talking about various topics about anything really, but it's instead of just one person talking by themselves, it's usually a group of people sharing ideas and joking back and forth or covering any numerous amount of topics. Some examples that I would recommend, a lot of this stuff on this list is stuff that I personally list to, listen to that I think is really good. Um, the first one I would recommend is Press X to Start, which is a, is a gaming podcast, but it comes from um, a black people of color perspective. The next podcast that I would recommend is the Relentlessly Real podcast, which is a group of guys talking about various things that are going on in culture and politics and pop culture and stuff like that. It's pretty funny. And the next one that I would recommend is the Secret to Success podcast, which is from Eric Thomas, or also known as Eric E.T., the hip hop preacher, and his team talking about various things that help them in regards to success, personal development, in uh, business. So definitely go out and check out those podcasts. The next type of podcasts that you have are interview-based podcasts, which is very similar to the previous type where you have your team or partnership podcasts. But the whole idea is that you have one person interviewing another person. It's different instead of, you know, a group of people or a pair of people talking about one thing, one person is interviewing another person. And that usually goes through a conversation or whatever, but it's an interview process. Those, those are very, very informative podcasts. <laughs> I think so, especially if the, the interviewer is good at interviewing people and also uh, the person that they're interviewing is interesting. Some podcasts that I would recommend are the Art of Manliness podcast with Brett McKay, where he talks, he talks to so many interesting, interesting people and uh, it's great. It's a great podcast. And just because the name is Art of Manliness, there are actually a lot of um, women listeners. Another podcast that I would recommend is the Social Proof Podcast, where you have David Shands, who is an entrepreneur, who interviews other entrepreneurs who have found success. And he interviews them and asks them about their stories and about... He, they, he gets different game and tips and tricks and all kinds of information from the people that he interviews. And it, again, another really, really good podcast. The thing that's interesting about the Social Proof Podcast is that it goes back and forth between a partnership, like two two or more people podcast type, and an interview podcast type. So on some episodes, it's David Chans and he's interviewing different people. And then on some episodes, it's David Chans and uh, Donnie Wiggins, and they're having discussions back and forth. So again, it's a great podcast that you should check out. And the last podcast that I would recommend in this interview category is All It Takes Is a Goal with John Acuff, which... Johnny Cuff is a funny guy. <laughs> he, he's a funny guy. Um, he's an author and he uh, interviews different people about their careers, about the things that they've accomplished. And it, again, it's a very encouraging and um, beneficial personal development type podcast. So be sure to check that out. The next type of podcast that's pretty popular is story podcast. For story podcasts, you usually have somebody narrating a story of some sort whether it's a personal story or whether it's some kind of fiction or nonfiction or something like that, but it's a story and it's usually just one person. So think about like a, a shorter version of an audiobook, and it can be many, many different episodes. But the idea is 
or listening to stories. You're listening to somebody tell or narrate or read a story. And two um, podcasts that I would recommend that are really good at doing this and this type of podcast are Podcastle and Escape Pod. And they're actually from the same um, company, but one is more science fiction and the other one is more fantasy. So I would recommend you check those out. The next type of podcast that's pretty popular is your informative podcast, which can be like news reports or documentaries. For these podcasts, it takes can take a lot of work because it re- requires you to do research. It requires you to actually be up on the news and taking the time to get your facts right because you don't want to have a podcast that's not factual, <laughs> especially if you're trying to report the news or or give your commentary or your, your take on things that are going on, whether it's politics or economics or anything like that. Some podcasts that I would recommend that, that I really enjoy that actually help me keep up with the news and get different perspective about what's going on. Uh, the first one is called Hood Politics with Propaganda. I would definitely recommend checking that out. If you're if you want a different spin or you, you want political things broken down into a more digestible way, that's what I'll say, in a more digestible way, I would definitely recommend that podcast. That's Hood Politics with Prop. Another podcast that is informative in this informative category is called Our Black Girls. This podcast is a more serious podcast, but it actually shares news reports and information about African-American women who have gone missing. And again, it's a very informative and at times very heartbreaking uh, story. But the point is that they're trying to tell the stories of these women that have gone missing in the black community. And it's important that they have this opportunity and this platform to share this information to inform people, you know? And another, the last podcast that I would recommend that fits this kind of category is more of a documentary style, but it is very, very informative, is the 1619 Project. Just go check it out. I don't want to give a summary and mess it all up. I would say go check it out, (laughs) 1619 Project Podcast. Next up on the list, we have audio dramas. Now, audio dramas can be very similar to the story style podcast, but think of movies or think of TV shows, something a little bit more complex than just one person narrating, but you have a whole cast of individuals acting out different characters and you have a score. It's just a whole experience in itself. Those are audio dramas and they're lots and lots of audio dramas becoming more and more popular especially because of podcasting. Two that I would recommend are Bronzeville, which takes place in Chicago. I can't remember the time that it took place. I'll try to leave the information and links and stuff in the description. And another one that I would recommend is called Limetown, which is kind of more uh, sci-fi thriller-esque. But again, there are lots and lots and lots of different audio dramas that you can find that people are producing that are that are really good. And some are some are pretty funny. Some are kind of spooky, but it's good entertainment. And the last category of podcasts that I see that are that is pretty popular is this your general music podcast. Now, the thing about music podcasts is that it can be kind of tricky trying to share music because of copyright infringement and copyright issues. But a lot of the music podcasts that I've heard and uh, that I listen to, they're usually hosted by DJs or radio stations who have the proper por- protocols and the proper things in place so that they, they don't have any issues. Three that I would recommend is one, Club Life by Tiesto, which is house music. I love house music. That's just my personal thing. Another one, uh, another house music podcast actually is called Deep House Cat, which is more soulful house music. And then another one is called Track Stars, which focuses on Christian hip hop. And the cool thing about Track Stars is that they actually cover multiple different types of podcasts. They have your team podcast because they're three main hosts uh, for the show. And then they also interview people on their show and they also play music from time to time. So it's a show that can encompass all of the different types and styles of podcasts. And that's the awesome thing about podcasts because you can pretty much do whatever you want. These are the more popular styles of podcasts that you will that you will commonly find on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. And so that'll be your solo podcast, your team or partner podcast, interview style podcast. You have your story style podcast. You have your informative or news documentary style podcast. You have your audio dramas and you have your music podcast. So now as a beginner, what would I recommend? Personally, I would recommend if you're starting your own podcast that you would start with a solo podcast mainly because it's the easiest type of podcast to get started with. All you really need is your cell phone to get started with a solo podcast. If you have an idea and some thoughts that you want to share, that's all you need to get going with a solo podcast. And actually, I created a course on teachable.com that can help you create your first solo podcast episode 
within a weekend. So I'll put the link for the course in the description if that's something you're interested in and wanna check out. Talpin Creations is dedicated to help you start making quality audio content on a budget. Until next time, check out some other videos that we have here and uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and make sure the notifications are on. Remember, cost does not have to stop you from creating. So go make something.